Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Gotta start with the Marvel guys this week. Maybe you've heard of a little movie called The Avengers that's rolling out this weekend. This is Avengers number 690. It's your last issue of the No Surrender stuff we've been talking about for quite a few weeks now. Started back in number 675. Can't say enough about this book, been really super awesome. Everybody knows I'm a big Avengers fan. Very excited about the movie this weekend like everybody is. If you're one of the three people not reading this book, go all the way back to 672 or 675 and catch up because this one's been really awesome. And then be on the lookout for the next Avengers number one. Thanos Annual, another big shot for the movie this weekend. Can't say enough about this title either. Been super red hot, selling out every single time it comes out gone to multiple reprintings of recent issues. I hope you're already in line at your favorite comic shop for this one because Thanos always goes fast. If you've been missing out on these, uh, like I said, there's several new printings of 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 all rolling out. So really encourage you to catch up. One of the best books Marvel does really. Invincible Iron Man. Another one of the many co-stars this week of the movie. This is uh, number 599. The big 600 will be out in just a couple weeks. That'll be the last Bendis Marvel book. Good stuff. Mighty Thor. A lot going on in this book. This is number 706. If you can see that very faint cover there. Got a couple copies of 705 left if you get in here fast. Great, great title there. That's really going to go down as one of the all times. A lot of great Wolverine news this week. This is Hunt for Wolverine number one. The uh, long-awaited return of the classic Canuck. Cool cover, too. Good stuff there. All-new Wolverine. Doctor Doom on the cover. And X-Men Blue. Been telling you guys it's a good time to be an X-Men fan. X-Men Blue and Gold and Red. Astonishing X-Men. Good stuff. Cool Days of Future Past homage cover there. New issue of Legion. This one might be flying under your radar, but if you're uh, digging the show like I am, you want to catch the uh, new adventures in the new comic. And Exiles number two. Number one was a big deal. This is the second issue. I love all these interdimensional characters. Fun to see new versions of your favorite Marvelites. Good stuff. Doctor Strange has a couple of books this week. Speaking of Marvel movie stars, speaking of guys showing up in the big movie this weekend, that's your latest issue. And this is the last issue of Damnation. Not going on with Doctor Strange these days. That's good stuff. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. One of the many spider books rolling out these days. Always been a fan of the PPTSS, as we used to say. And Spider-Gwen... Another Red Hot Spider title. And speaking of Red Hot Spider titles, how about some Venom? People can't get enough of this guy these days. Maybe you caught the new trailer. Maybe you're anxiously awaiting the movie. Maybe you're already a big fan of the title like this one or Venomverse with the aforementioned Thanos on the cover. This one's weekly, so they're rolling out super fast. We've got all the issues still in stock, so catch up and don't miss out. Despicable Deadpool gets ever closer to his big anniversary issue and Moon Knight from the dark side of the Marvel Universe Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur it's a little more lighthearted title and Old Man Hawkeye cool beetle cover there if you're a hundred years old like me you love the beetle and a couple of Star Wars books. Darth Vader. can read more about that one in our newsletter this week. Been loving this title. Been loving all the stuff that Marvel's been doing with their Star Wars line like Dr. Aphra. Anxiously awaiting to see if she's going to turn up in the movies anywhere. Good stuff. And as always, a great week for the DC guys. Always a big week for this guy. This is Detective Comics. With the return of OMAC, the one-man Army Corps. Love me some OMAC. Batman and the Signal. One of those books uh, spinning out of the metal stuff. Batman Beyond. One of my favorite Bat titles along with Nightwing. 
Love the old series. Love the book. That's your uh, Superman-related B cover. All the DC books have Superman B covers this month because of last week's action. Batgirl. And then all the team books for this week, like Justice League of America or Suicide Squad or Teen Titans or Trinity. I think that's your last issue of Trinity. Or Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. All the big teams this week. Hal Jordan's been a really solid book. I know a lot of you are following Green Lanterns. If you're not following Hal Jordan and the Corps, you should jump in on that. Good stuff. It's got all your favorite lanterns in there. Wonder Woman. Another one of the biggest titles out there. Along with The Flash. That's your cool Great Race B cover. Everybody loves uh, seeing Superman and The Flash racing. No, it doesn't actually happen in this issue. As I said, just your Superman related B cover. Silencer and the Terrifics are your New Age of Heroes books. Can't say enough about this Terrifics title. I hope you picked up number one and two because they're totally sold out. And it doesn't seem like DC is going to reprint with these guys. So if you missed out, you're going to have to wait for the trade to enjoy some Plastic Man and Metamorpho action. Good stuff. The Demon. One of my favorite all-time characters because I love anything Kirby. And Raven are your mini-series books for the week. Doom Patrol and Mother Panic are your young animal books for the week. And lastly but not leastly, Motherlands and Imaginary Fiends are your Vertigo books for the week. Always encouraging you guys to check out the Vertigo stuff and have a Vertigo book on your list. If you're looking for something non-superhero, it's always been a great place to go. And a great week for all the other guys too. Aliens returns to comics. Always been saying what a great job Dark Horse does with all their licensed stuff really, but with Alien, Predator, they're just the masters of science fiction over there. Everybody should have something Dark Horse on their list. And Giles is your Whedonverse book of the week. Not too much going on in the Buffyverse with uh, until the launch of the next season. Great week for the Image guys. How about some Saga? If there's a book bigger than Walking Dead from Image Comics, this one's it. Like I always say with this one and with Walking Dead, if you're only following this in trade paperback, I'd really encourage you to catch up on those trades and then catch up to the periodicals because periodicals are just more fun. Those uh, suspenseful last pages are always awesome and you don't get that with the trades. Hit Girl is your kick-ass related book of the week. And Ice Cream Man is our image book of the week. Been talking a lot about this title here at Black Cat. Cool uh, horror anthology kind of thing. Should have uh, the reprints of one and two if you want to catch up to that one. Archie. This is your latest issue of the main title. Really been encouraging guys to check out all the amazing stuff that Archie's had going on like Archie, Betty and Veronica, all their horror stuff like Afterlife with Archie, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Jughead, Vampironica. Can't say enough about all the great stuff Archie's been doing these days. If you've been watching the Riverdale show or if you liked Archie back in the day, check out some of their new stuff because it will surprise you and impress you. BSG versus BSG is one of your team up books for the week. I've been saying it's a great era of team ups like Kiss in the Army of Darkness. If there's anything cooler than Kiss in the Army of Darkness, I don't know what it is. Since Kong and the Planet of the Apes ended last week, this is probably my new favorite mashup. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Annual is your Boom Studios book of the week. Can't say enough about the MMPR these days. Everybody picked up number 25, number 26 sold out. You're going to want to get in on this if you're a Power Rangers fan. If you don't know what the Shattered Grid is, you're really missing out. The Prisoner is in comics. If you are a fan of the old show, you're super stoked to see it back in comics. If you don't know what this is, you definitely want to Google it and check it out. One of the most unique shows ever on television, and now it's in comics. Super awesome stuff. Love photo covers. Shadow Man and Exo Man of War are your Valiant books of the week. Always encouraging you guys to have a Valiant book on your list, and either one of these is a great place to start. Shadow Man's always been one of my favorite titles. Exo's always been one of my favorite titles. Valiant's just doing a stellar job these days, so 
go to their website, check out all the different ones they do and jump in on that because it's good stuff. And a great week for the All Ages too. Always encouraging guys to check out the All Ages books. And you can start with Scooby-Doo Team Up. Here's the Scooby Gang teaming up with Supergirl and Streaky the Super Cat. Doesn't get cooler than Streaky the Super Cat. Sonic the Hedgehog is back in comics from IDW. You love Sonic. You love the show. You love the game. Now you love the comic. Got the other issues in stock. It's been super red hot, so you're going to want to grab that number one before it's gone. And last but not least is my man Underdog. Really stoked to see Underdog back in comics. One of the great classic franchises of all time. Great classic cartoon. Awesome comic. Love me some Underdog. Really, really good week of stuff. So make sure you check those shipping lists. Get down to your shop. Pick up something super awesome. Want to remind everybody about Free Comic Book Day. Cinco de Mayo is Free Comic Book Day. First Saturday of May, May 5th. Get on down here. Get up. Get some free stuff. Take advantage of the big back issue sale. All our black cat packs are 25% off. Can't say enough about Free Comic Book Day. Tell all your friends. Tell all your enemies. Tell everybody at school. Everybody at work. Get down to their shop. Uh, get around to as many shops as you can. Take advantage of all the free stuff. Of all the big sales. Uh, uh, this is our biggest and best opportunity to grow comics. So two things I tell everybody. Uh, if you are already reading comics, get down to your shop and try something new, something different. Uh, the free stuff, the big blowout sales are a great opportunity to turn yourself on to a new writer, a new artist, a new title, a new publisher, all that fun stuff. And as I said earlier, tell a friend. Uh, get some new people into comics. Uh, turn people into somebody like yourself. Bring them down on Free Comic Day and show them what you love most about comics. Because, like I say, it's just a great day, fun for all. That's all we got for you for this week. You can check us out at the brand new Black Cat Comics website at black-cat-comics.com. Check out our Facebook page. Check out the YouTube channel. Check out the podcast at soundcloud.com. Just get on down here to the good old brick and mortar at, in uh, Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.